Hi and welcome to Big Door Trading Channel. In the previous class, we learned how to program fast stochastic in period 5. Today, we are going to learn how to put some settings in our indicator so that it can be calibrated without having to modify its code. To make it clear what we are going to do, we will include in the chart the standard stochastic offered by TradingView itself. Let's click on this option indicator and look for stochastic. Type the word stochastic and click on it. When we do this, the indicator will be inserted in the chart. Now let's configure the stochastic so that it looks just like the stochastic we created in the last class. Let's remove all this ornament and put K45, D41 and smooth for one. After doing this, notice that the two indicators were exactly the same. However, if we try to modify our stochastic that we created in the previous class, you will notice that we were unable to make any changes to the indicator using this window. But don't worry. That's what we are going to learn to do today. We will transform our stochastic into an indicator that can be calibrated through inputs. To do this, the first thing is to know what inputs we want to include in our code. In this lesson, we will learn how to create an input that defines the stochastic period. That is, we will allow the user to decide what the value of k will be. Now that we know what our input will be, it's time to get our hands dirty and make it happen. Start by writing what name your input will receive in the code, in which case I will call this input k. Now k needs to be able to receive the value that the user select in the properties window. Then k must be equal to the input function. Open the parentheses and organize the parameters of the input function. It is important to say that the input function has some parameters, but we will only use two parameters, the default value and the title that will appear to the user. Within the parentheses, start by saying the default period that your indicator will have when it is inserted in the chart. In that case, I will want period 5, then put a comma and use the title parameter to say the title of the input in the properties window. That done, just replace all the numbers for the stochastic period with the input we created. In all places where we have the number 5, we will change it to the word k, as it will store the period that the user selects. Now just click on add to the chart and see how it looks. You can now configure stochastic outside the code. I hope this lesson was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you in the next video.